like clamp so that uh, audio noise will line up the three camera shoot that I'm doing. Um, the program that I'm going to use, Pinnacle Studio, will automatically hear that clap and then will line up all three videos to that particular audio so I can match up everything. So this is a two-tier video. First off, I'm going to put together a, um, a two-shelf utility cart, which I made a video previously just doing that with a single camera. Uh, this particular video, the reason I'm doing it is I want to show not only the instructions to a multi-camera, three-camera um, assembly, but I'm also going to uh, take that footage and then bring it into a Pinnacle Studio and um, show how to do a three-camera shoot and how to edit and everything like that. So let's get started. So I've got this camera over here. And what I'm going to do is um, I'll just use the audio. Uh, I'm just going to use one audio from one of the cameras, so I'm not going to bounce off audio. Everything's consistent. So I got that camera here. I got this camera here, which is going to be a handhold. Sometimes I'll, I'll put it down and probably see. Well, you won't see darkness. I'll see darkness because I'm going to edit that. And then I got this being um, camera right here. All right, so I'm going to try to line. Oops. I'm going to try to line everything up. It's going to be kind of difficult, <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, we got my stuff right here. I just want to make sure everything's there. All right, we'll bring this bad boy over. I'll do the best with um, my hands that I can. It might be a little awkward to listen to, but the whole thing is just a... Uh, The whole thing is just to know how to do a uh, multi-camera shoot. I don't need this box here. It's impeding on my creativity. <laughs> All right. So, this is what we got here. Obviously, this is what we got here. I'm not keeping in commentary. <laughs> So you get instructions, you get advertisements. Pretty easy assembly, I'm going to show you anyways. And if I put the camera someplace without having to hold it, that would be wonderful. I wonder how I can do this. Um, shit. All right, so anyways, this is the top piece, so I can just put that aside for now. These are wheels. All you're going to need is a, a Phillips screwdriver. That's, that's all you're going to need. Screws. They always give you an extra screw in here. You always need an extra screw. That's, that's my motto. I wouldn't necessarily dump them all over the floor like that, but in this particular situation, they're not going anywhere. Right. Make sure you have a sip of coffee before you start. All right, now, actually, this is aimed the wrong way. So let's turn it around. All right, so what you want to do is 
take these legs. Now, when I first did my first one, I tried to put them in like this. <laughs> and for life of me, I could not figure out how to get them in there because I'm an idiot. But um, probably some smarter people, far smarter than I am, will know just to line them up and stick them in there like that. Let me do all four. Let me do all four. All right. It's hard to hold the camera and do it at the same time. There we go. All right. What we're going to do is just um, screw in here. Usually I try to do it at an angle. It's easy, it's kind of awkward to screw these in um, unless you put them on an angle. And so you can see it's not that much of an angle, but it will straighten itself out. Um, once you get to the bottom, it is kind of awkward, Just especially if you get the So, I mean, I don't force it. I'm not sure of the situation. I mean, if you want to move these someday, um, you don't want to do them too tight. Uh, I mean, these are never going anywhere. But um, if you have a car, you want to put them in a car or something, you might want to unassemble it. So I wouldn't go to the maximum degree of um, screwing them in. Put that down so I can get these in there. So with Pinnacle Studios, um, that's what I'm going to show you next next video or another video, um, how to do a three camera shoot, how to edit them. I usually have um, at least this one steady camera to work with for my for my edits. So if the other two cameras, say if two other people are holding the camera, um, they're going to screw up. They're going to hit something that you don't want. It's going to look weird. And then I do the steady, the steady camera like this one right here. And there's one over there too. Um, I keep that stationary for my for my cuts. But um, these are really getting back to the tubsters. These are these are concrete uh, carts. They're very sturdy. They hold a lot of weight. I'm not. I can't tell you the exact weight. I can tell you hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I've had. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the background, there's like a shelf of laptops I've had on these things. And I don't know. I wouldn't say, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't begin to guess. Um, could I say half a ton? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but it's a hell of a lot of weight. Let's put it that way. It's nothing I'm carrying around on my own. So they're very durable uh, carts. Seem to be in there that well. All right, let's take this one out. So make sure it's flush with the bottom. Okay, there it goes. It wasn't flush with the bottom for some reason. I'm not sure. Now it is. For some reason, this one's going in like a bitch. Ah, you know, I don't want to strip it, and if I ever got to take it off for whatever reason, whomever, um, it will hold. This one seems to still go. All right, that seems okay. Oh. 
It is hot. All right. That aside. Bring this camera. And then. Sure. I can put this. Um, should I flip it? See that? Should I get hanging from the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> Same deal, there's little holes in here. Just kind of can start them with your fingers. So they're holding there. Yeah, that's pretty easy. There. I'm sure I'm breaking the um, the 180 rule with that camera and this camera. So if you're not sure what the what the 180 rule is, so in television, in film, movies, any really anything, so it doesn't look weird. Um, you film in 180 degree angle. That's the the angleage that you have to place your cameras. So I am sure with this camera and that camera over there. I am breaking the 180 degree rule, but I'm doing an assembly. I'm not. Uh, I'm not filming uh, Terminator 10. I don't know. Terminator 10 came to mind. Filming the sequel to. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a movie. I'm trying to think of something smart ass to say. All right, so we got those two. <laughs> camera down. So I just dip this camera down. That camera will pick it up over there. So if there's something screwy going on with one camera, you know, cut to the other camera. And some other advice, because this is a weird video to start with, <laughs> is um, when you're filming any anything, independent film, television, uh, movies, it's always good to um, have multi-camera coverage because it's consistent with the shot and what people are doing in the shot. So for instance, I've seen a lot of independent movies that will have one camera and do the scene three or four times in different angles. And because no one's paying attention, the actors are doing different things in each cut. So it absolutely makes no sense because <laughs> um, you could have a glass to the right of somebody and then they'll cut to another camera and then the glass could be to the, to the left or something to that effect. That's just an example. So not only are you getting utility carts, um, knowledge, assembly, unboxing, you're getting movie tips. Um, it's a multifaceted uh,
Okay, so Microsoft only allows. Oops, sorry. Microsoft. Jesus. So Microsoft uh, Stream only does 15 minute uh, increments. So we're going to go. I can show you this again. So uh, hopefully I'll do it again. So this camera, that camera over there, and my portable one um, can hear the clap. And then when I use Pinnacle Studios, and I'll show you that when I do that documentary, um, we'll line up the, the sound of the clap. That's why they use clapboards, stuff like that, in movies. All right. So this is pretty simple. Let's line it up here. Your screws. One, two, three, four. Usually because there's little folders here. Usually just dump them right there. And you'll get an extra screw for this cart. Like I said, and like I said before, it's always good to get an extra screw. That's um, that's my button. Okay. And there's the lone screw. The lone screw. The one the other screw. All right. Normally with these, it just kind of you can kind of put them with your hands to start with. And I won't screw them all the way in. I'm just so they're even. This one over here. And then we got this one over here. Oops. Oh, God dang it. All right. And then I have to find my screwdriver. So, I mean, right, as they say, tired uh, phrases, this isn't rocket science. So what I would do is just kind of leave it halfway, screw them all in halfway, make sure they're even. And that's true with anything you're putting together, right? Again, I don't put them too tight. I don't want to strip them. And who knows when you need to, something happens, you might have to take it out. But it's in there tight enough where nothing's going to happen. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Oop, blister over my last blister. videos I usually have a head on because I'm usually doing them at this ungodly forsaken hour. Yeah. In there. See my nice blister from the last time I put these together. Who cared I know? Maybe wear some gloves. I'm too stupid to wear gloves. Start them so they don't fall out. When you start. There we go. Bring 
be a good idea to get some Audio track from uh, your multiple cameras, as I mentioned, and um, your sound won't be too terrible. Let's do it stuff like this. This is doing YouTube tutorial videos, and no one's expecting Hollywood production for your, for your utility cart assembly. No one's <laughs> expecting a Hollywood. Hollywood production. People are making those videos. And they got some time and some money on their hands. I have neither. There's an 80s uh, solo artist. What did Chris Cross do? I'm not sure what. Um, yeah, go the other way. The wrong way. So these do seem threaded a certain way. That didn't make any sense. Forget what I just said. That's the way the screw is. job today because I had to make a video about it. But once they're done, they're done. Shot that I'm doing now. 
some weight I lost 30 pounds so it's my gut luck <laughs> <laughs> it's still there I got some more I got like another 30 or so pounds to go okay I'm a tall guy I can stand up and suck it in you can't really tell I don't think but I normally look at myself in the mirror and only on camera really There's no cameras in here recording me. Recording. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they give you the footage. I don't think there is. All right, I'm not embarrassed. Too old to be embarrassed. summer up here right now it's march no, march 11th march 12th march 13th maybe i'm not really sure we had a snowstorm yesterday and this morning it's pretty cold out it's like 19 degrees out and it's hot in Delta. i got the heat cranking so hopefully their air conditioning works as good as their uh, heat does. Or it's going to be a long, hot summer. All right. All right, one more screw. I'm excited. In the 180 degree uh, thing again. So there we go. We got our fleet of parts. We're good. Very strong. Pretty cool. We got one more to go. Probably there. I put those together to um, like a month ago. So that's it. All right. All right. Microsoft has only given me like 45 seconds left <laughs> until the video's over. I don't know why I have my mask on. I'm by myself. All right, gals and guys, this is Christopher Mosher, Christopher Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com. And if you could please subscribe, like, and share, and hit the bell below for updates. And again, this is a two-tier reason I did this. One For one thing, put the, the, the cart together. And then I'm going to make a video on how to do a multi-camera edit on Pinnacle Studio. All right. And according to Microsoft, I have 10 seconds left. So, gals and guys, nine, eight, have a good day. I appreciate you as always. See ya, see ya, see ya. Two.